longer sessions because they're at lunchtime and it's low intensity, you could just do it within your working day. The, the rest of the team were talking about it, there were quite a lot of buzz in the office around it and we, I was just really interested in it. Um, I wanted to make some changes but I didn't really have the confidence to just go and start something on my own. I've suffered with um, ill health um, so I've had periods of time off work. The way it had been tackled through my GP was, was focusing on trying to improve the physical aspects of my health and so what I wanted to do was turn it around and as the physical health is contributed by the emotional well-being I wanted to focus on that. This is actually something that really does benefit people's emotional well-being and in turn then it really does impact on the physical well-being and your ability to manage it. I think it's helped, personally it's helped relax me um, and just it's just fitting something into the because I didn't do much exercise other than just walking before. It starts your week off with a bit of a oomph, you know, mm, although, it's low in, yeah, <laughs> although it's low intensity, it, it, you do really feel like you've done something yeah. when you come out of it afterwards. And you feel, it? I think it's good for stress relief, to be honest. I think um, you always come out of it feeling better than yeah, you definitely, start, definitely. Yeah, much more positive. I have some prolapse discs and I've got, I have reduced sensation down one leg. I've had time in wheelchair, bed rest for months, I've been on two crutches and this is this is the best it's been. Probably for the first time in about seven years um, I've managed to reduce my medication. I've lost over two stone, I can move which is nice. The exercise is an outlet but like the mindfulness and having and having nice food and healthy food just it it just gives you an all round picture. Going to a choir once a week for an hour doesn't sound much, but it really is good. Um, I came out the first time and I, I just felt so um, empowered, motivated, de-stressed. It was energised. It's, it's great because it's, there's a really nice group of, of people that we wouldn't have normally met. Give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, I would really recommend it to yeah, just, just give it a, a try. Just try it out once. I'd just say give it a go because there are plenty of other people that started it in the same situation. Not everybody's confident doing something like that. You don't have to do it all. You don't. You just just doing a bit more instantly makes you feel better. Absolutely, give it a go. Like I say, an, an hour a week, you wouldn't really think that it would have much an impact but it definitely has done for me. I've been involved in Operation Christmas Child um, for the past three years, along with other colleagues in the council, providing a Christmas gift for a child from our Trouble Families Hub. Speaking to colleagues who've uh, gone out of the way to um, purchase a gift, um, they tell me that uh, they have a sense of well-being and contentment, that they've done a good thing for a boy or a girl who wouldn't necessarily get a Christmas gift. Please get involved as we move into 2017 because it's an absolutely fantastic voluntary gesture and it really does make a difference, not just to the children on Christmas Day, but to yourselves for your own well-being. Thank you.